Hi, everyone. Welcome to Econ 2302, uh, Principles of Microeconomics. Uh, this is a three-week class, uh, main mini, as we call it. Um, uh, I'm the instructor of the course. My name is Dr. Bayonpur Tehrani. Um, I am a full-time faculty here at Lone Star College Sci Fair. I've been teaching here for almost eight years now. Um, I'm very excited to work with you guys um, for the um, upcoming weeks. This is a super short um, semester, but I, in my experience, the students who enroll actually in uh, such classes are uh, super smart, very um, goal-oriented, uh, very organized, and um, that's why you guys want to accomplish a lot in the um, a short amount of time. Uh, I'm excited to work with you guys. Um, if you check out um, the um, D12 and the course that I created for you guys, you can find pretty much everything that you need for the um, um, for the next three weeks. So our class actually starts on um, check my calendar. Um, on May um, 16. And the last day of our class will be on June 5th. So um, most of the, if you check out the syllabus, uh, which basically you can find everything uh, if you log into your um, D12 accounts and go to the content tab, that's the place you can find everything. So I created three weeks, um, basically modules for you guys, where I put all the course materials for each week and also the deadlines for the upcoming assignments and, and so forth. You will see that the deadlines are always on Monday, except for the final exam, which will be uh, the last day of our class, which is a Sunday, June 5th. So that is the only kind of deadline where um, it's not a Monday, okay? So I will, of course, send you reminders about that. If we don't want to talk about final yet, uh, but that is the last day of our class. And this is the last day that basically you can take this final exam, okay? Um, so um, as I was saying, um, the, the class actually um, is open right now. The course is open right now. Um, you can find the syllabus. You can find uh, the lecture notes. Everything will be basically on uh, Detroit. Um, one thing that you definitely need to purchase ASAP um, is the textbook. And by textbook, I mean the access code for our um, publisher software, which is called Connect Plus. For those of you uh, who are business major, I know that many of my colleagues actually use Use Connect um, for accounting, for other business courses we offer here at Lone Star. Um, so you might be familiar with it, but even if you are not, it's really easy to work uh, with a Connect. Uh, if you have any question about it, you can definitely let me know. Um, I always get this question that should I purchase a new textbook? You really don't need the um, new um, hard copy of the textbook, but you definitely need to buy this access code that I'm talking about. And for that, yes, you need to buy a new access code, okay? So check out this service. I put the information there, but you need basically an access code that comes with the book and also a link that I provided for you and it's on the syllabus and I also put it on the first announcement um, on D12. Um, so you can click on that link and that link, which is specific to our section, will take you to connect website. So you can either uh, purchase the access code directly from connect or you can purchase it from the bookstore on campus. Um, and by campus, I don't mean that you should actually come to the campus. You can just go and check it out online as well. So these are your options. Uh, if you decide to, to get it from Connect directly, it's really super easy. If you click on that link that I uh, posted on uh, D12, and it's also on this service, you can just follow the steps. It will just tell, tell you basically um, how you can um, get the book directly from Connect. Okay, so that's really easy. Um, for exams and also assignments, you need to have Connect, okay? Um, that's why I'm emphasizing and getting it right away um, because we are covering four chapters this week, week one. Um, so you will have three homework to, so you have homework from all these chapters, not three. You have uh, homework from all these three chapters, four chapters to 
um, to complete just this week. And then um, next week we have our quiz. You have one quiz and one um, exam basically in this class. You don't have, we don't have a midterm exam, but you will have a quiz. So next week you have a quiz. Again, the quiz is online. So you definitely need to get your um, access code right away. You don't want to miss out. It's just three weeks. I really cannot extend any deadline for you guys. There's no makeup quiz. There's no makeup exam because we just don't have the time. So um, try to get your um, access code ready. Um, as I mentioned, assignments and also quiz and final um, will be on uh, Connect Plus. Um, let me talk a little bit about the quiz and also final, then I will talk about discussions. That is, that's another kind of type of homework that you have uh, that are not going to be on Connect. They will be on D12. Um, quiz and exam, uh, our final exam will be proctored. And what I mean by that is that there will be a lockdown browser. As soon as you um, take the quiz or you take the final exam, of course, you have a few days to uh, take the quiz or the final. Um, it's not just one day. So it is going to be available to you guys for a few days. And you can take it any day that basically you are ready. Uh, but when you start taking it, the quiz and the final, they're both timed. There will be a lockdown browser and you also need a webcam to take them. You can get an external webcam from Walmart, from Amazon for 10, 15 bucks, or you can check out a laptop um, from our um, campus, from OTS on SciFair campus, okay, or any other campuses that might offer actually um, that this type of services. But I, I'm sure that our campus actually has some uh, laptops for our students to check out. So that's another option for you. And if that is the case and you want to get a laptop from us, uh, do it today, okay? Because they have limited number of um, laptops and this is a mini semester. So I'm pretty sure they're still dealing with the students who borrowed laptop from spring semester. They're waiting for them to return them and make them ready for um, summer um, students. So definitely check it out um, right away and put your request even today to get those laptops. Okay, so that's about um, that a quiz and the final. So they are timed, they are proctored. So um, make sure you have everything ready. You don't have to come um, to campus to take the test. This is a completely online class. Make sure on the time that, on, uh, at the time that you want to take the test, you have a reliable internet. I am not really responsible for um, this type of problem, like technical problems because of the internet. So make sure you have a good, a good um, uh, connection before you take the test. Um, if you have problem taking, um, if you have problem with your internet, you can definitely come to campus, take the test in the library, one of the open labs on campus. Again, I am not um, responsible for those type of problems. At the time of the test, um, most of the tests are going to happen over the weekend. So, um, and the quiz. If you have any technical problem that I might be able to fix, uh, reach out to me and make sure that you send your uh, emails to my Lone Star email because that's one thing that I have. That's one email that I have on my phone. It's faster for me to respond to your emails if I have them on my phone because I get the um, basically um, uh, what do we say notification so I can definitely um, go and check it out uh, and see if the, the problem um, is something that I can fix okay um, so make sure that also when you're sending your emails to my Lone Star email you're also using your Lone Star email otherwise it will go my uh, to my spam because of the security system of Lone Star email that's the way that they um, set it up uh, for security um, that's one thing about um, um, emails. And I think I pretty much covered um, what I wanted to um, tell you about the quiz and the final exam. Um, so again, homework and um, quiz and the final will be on Connect, okay? All the course materials, the syllabus, as I mentioned, they are all on D12. So everything will be posted under the content tab. Um, so you can check it out. I even shared videos that I recorded, also videos um, that I found on YouTube that I think might be helpful. Um, so check them out. Um, also, I have uh, videos that I share with you um, 
in my weekly emails. Um, those videos are longer and I basically talked over the lecture notes for you guys. So it's like you were sitting in the classroom and, and listening to me talking. Um, they are long, but I definitely recommend you guys if you have the time to also watch those videos, okay? Um, I mentioned discussions. So if you go to your D2L and click on the collaboration tab, and then click on discussion, you will see that I posted only two discussions. Um, the first one is gonna be open this week and it's due on Monday, May 23rd. And the second one is open the following week and it's due on May 30th. So for the last week, you don't have any discussion because I want you guys to be focused on uh, finishing up um, the assigned chapters that week, and you are also taking the final exam at the end of that week. So you do not have any discussion for the last week. Um, read the syllabus and learn how you should write your discussion. So basically I ask questions uh, on the discussion board where you should start posting your answer. There is a word limit for that. So your answer should not be less than 200 words. Uh, when you post your answer, then you are able to see other people's answers um, on the discussion board. So you should first start writing yours. Um, so your answer has 50 points. And then to get another 50 point, uh, you should go back to the discussion board and read at least two friends um, answers on the discussion board and provide feedback for them okay and your feedback should not be like oh okay I really like it um, I didn't like it it should be at least 100 words for each feedback that you post if you do that you will get 100 points and honestly getting um, A's on discussions A's on homework is really really easy in my class okay so just don't miss any deadline and follow um, the, the instruction, then, then um, you'll be fine. Um, trust me. Um, that's pretty much it. One other thing that I also ask you um, to, to do um, by Monday next week is to read the syllabus and also sign the student memorandum form. <clears throat> that again, you can find it under the content tab on D12. Um, basically, by signing this student memorandum, you are telling me that you read the syllabus. So I want to make I want to make sure that you guys are aware of everything in this class, all the deadlines, all the policies, uh, my expectations um, from you guys. So by signing that a student memorandum, you are telling me that you are aware of everything. Okay. And if you have any question about the syllabus, definitely I want you guys to let me know. Um, that's pretty much it. I know that video is pretty pretty long already so I don't want to talk about um, what we are going to study in each chapter this week we're covering the first four chapters if you already took macroeconomics especially here at Cypher you will find the first five chapters um, exactly identical to your macro class um, we are skipping chapter five but starting next week we're focusing our only uh, micro topics so the first four chapters are really important because they are the foundation and basics of economics for both micro and macro it doesn't matter which one you're studying so hang in there if you already had um, these chapters in your uh, macro class but it's starting next week as I mentioned we're focused on only microeconomic topics um, um, so chapter one, two, three, and four are the chapters that we're going to discuss. If you want to learn more, definitely go to D12 content tab and watch the videos and read my notes. Um, I uh, wish everybody best luck. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are um, going to work hard in the um, upcoming weeks. But just know that I am here to help you. The purpose of this video was just here to say hi, uh, put a picture on my name, introduce myself, and um, wish you all the best. Till next time.